वेलकम बैक टू लर्न इकोनॉमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कांसेप्ट ऑफ लो लेवल इक्विलिब्रियम ट्रैप थ्योरी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड मूव टू द कांसेप्ट व्हाट वी कैन सी इज दैट दिस कांसेप्ट इज आल्सो नोन इन द नेम ऑफ द मैल्थुसियन ट्रैप एंड दिस हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इनटू द इकोनॉमिक अरेना बाय अ फेमस पर्सन हु इज नोन इज नेम आर आर नेल्सन एंड दिस हैज बीन डन इन द मिड 1950s एज पर दिस थ्योरी एज पर as per capita income remains below a critical level so here critical level is very important so as per capita income remains below a critical level the population growth rate that prevail in the economy that exceeds the income growth rate will always take the economy to a position which we can call in the name of the low level equilibrium trap okay have you said so let's discuss more about it here coming to the graphical explanation of the very same you can measure income per capita along the x axis and per capita growth rate along the y axis you can see that high fertility and high mortality would be canceling each other and population would be remaining stable at a very low level of income which you can consider as od so whenever you are at od level of income you are in the stage 1 this situation will not change until you are able to cross this point which is indicated by a so whenever you are able to cross this stage you will be entering the stage 2 okay so this mainly happens due to decline in the mortality rate here the population would be growing faster than the income so uh, the situation will not change until uh, stage a is crossed when last largely due to the declining mortality rate population grows at a faster rate so population grows at a faster rate than income let's consider more about it gradually you will be from point a go to the next point that is point b and when you are able to cross this point your national income will be something more than or your income will be more than of and the rate of growth of income your income or rate of growth of income it's not actual income we are talking about it is the rate of growth of income okay rate of growth of income this would be exceeding or this would be more than the rate of growth of population rate of growth of population okay and why does this happen this happens largely due to a decline in fertility rate this will be there until you reach point c a stable equilibrium let's consider more about it nelson has given four important social and technological conditions which might bring this trap and he told that whenever there exist a correlation between the per capita income and the population growth rate there are high chances for the economy to experience a low level equilibrium trap if its population growth rate is more than the rate of growth in income if rate of growth of population is more than rate of growth of income and a low propensity to direct additional per capita income to increasing per capita investment this low propensity is considered to be another important factor that will drive the economy to a low level equilibrium trap then he told that when there exists some scarcity of uncultivable arable land this too can bring about a low level equilibrium trap because when there is an increase in population you need to have food so as to make this population sustain isn't it and how can you get food from you need agriculture and for agricultural activities you need some 
new land to be brought to cultivation. If at all you are facing scarcity with respect to land, that will be reducing the agriculture production. which might lead to problems like famine and that might lead to many further further problems for the existing population. Again, Nelson identified inefficient methods of production as another important factor contributing to low level equilibrium trap. Having said so, let's consider some of the points which Nelson had considered which is related to or which are related to the low level equilibrium. He considered the concept of cultural inertia and the idea of economic inertia and he told that these two are caught in a vicious circle and faced on each other. And the concept of low level equilibrium trap or the situation of low level equilibrium trap, situation of low level equilibrium trap this would depend upon the degree of force of the factors that act to trap an economy so it will depend upon the cultural inertia and the economic inertia so this depend on depends on cultural inertia and economic inertia okay now it doesn't mean that if an economy is trapped in a situation of low level equilibrium trap it cannot escape from it it can escape and for that also nelson suggested two possible ways and this could be attained either by increasing the rate of growth of your income or by reducing the rate of growth of population. These are the two possibilities that is being suggested by Nelson to escape from low level equilibrium trap. Either you should increase the rate of growth of income or else you need to reduce the rate of growth of population if it is possible if it if it is possible it is always better to go for both of this both increase in the rate of growth of income and redu reduction in the rate of growth of population so this will be speeding up the process of development and this will be uh, on the other or or else you can in other words say that this will be speeding up the process of escape from low level equilibrium trap only after escaping from low level equilibrium trap an economy can develop now he has also suggested some possible ways specific ways so as to make the economy come out of the problem of low level equilibrium trap Nelson identified the role of favorable socio-economic environment so as to assist an economy to come out of low-level equilibrium trap. And he always suggested a change with greater emphasis on thrift and entrepreneurship so as to make the economy come out of this situation. Again, he suggested to take measures so as to change the distribution of income and accumulation of wealth by investors. He always recommended the role of government when it comes to investment program, at least in the very beginning. And the use of income and capital to utilize existing resources in a fully efficient and effective manner that has also been identified by Nelson so as to rescue a particular economy from the situation of low level equilibrium trap and escape from low level equilibrium trap is not an easy thing and you might have understood the very same thing by listening to this again as i've told you the ways to escape can be 
made possible either by increasing the rate of growth of your income or by reducing your rate of growth of your population so whatever it may be ways to escape from low level equilibrium trap should make this criteria possible and what is this criteria your growth rate of income should be more than more than the growth rate of population so long as you are not able to satisfy this condition you cannot escape from a situation of low level equilibrium trap and also that will not make the the criteria sustained economic growth possible the situation of sustained economic growth will not be possible so long as an economy is trapped in low level low, low level equilibrium trap and that is what is identified by nelson even though the theory has got many many applications when it comes to many many economies the theory is not from it is not free from criticisms it suffers from a lot many criticisms the theory assumes that an increasing per capita income up to a point would lead to increase in rate of population growth while decline in death rate so this is a main cause that has been identified by the theory but this decline in death rate when it comes to underdeveloped economies is something which is more and this is mainly due to some improvements that has been taken or that has been made in the arena of public health as well as some advanced medical facilities which are adopted by these nations and also this happens due to increase in per capita income levels uh, as a result of the same people standard of living had increased since the theory assumes an increase in per capita income up to a point leading to increase in the rate of population growth via declining death rate this theory has been seriously criticized next another important assumption of the theory is that functional relation between level of per capita income and the rate of total income growth the relation between per capita income and uh, total income growth and this has also been criticized by various economists next the kind of timeless functional relationship identified by the theory has also made the theory to face some some criticisms this timeless approach failed to make distinction between short run economic activities when it comes to developed economies and long run economic activities when it comes to underdeveloped economies so this timeless functional relationship is another important point based on which the theory received a lot many criticisms moving to the next criticism the theory is identified to ignore the rate of controlling population it says that yes we need to control the rate of population growth but what should be the specific rate that we have to follow so it's believed that an increase in per capita income above something called a subsist subsistence level this is bound to increase the rate of growth of population till the latter would be reaching something called a 3% and so it is very difficult to break the trap but when it comes to empirical evidences many empirical evidences run contrary to this and many governments have taken some uh, orderly well directed step in order to force reduction in population so that is another area based on which the theory received criticisms now in short what we could understand is that the ba- the basis of truth of the theory that is something that we have to consider so it is something which actually persists in the real life and we need to escape from a con- a problem called low level equilibrium trap we have to understand a uh, low level equilibrium trap situation which might happen or which will happen whenever the rate of 
growth of population growth of population is more than rate of growth of income so this is a very important problem that we have to consider because even now many world economies are facing the very same thing uh, if you look at the case of india you can see that india has overtaken china with respect to population and uh, so this is uh, in this context very important to understand the importance of the theory the significance of the theory of low level equilibrium trap so that's all about today uh, thank you for watching you can like uh, share and subscribe this channel for more videos you can also be a part of uh, our telegram community to discuss your doubts and uh, get uh, some questions from there i'll be providing the link of the same in the description box and also i would like to tell you that uh, you can download the learn economia app for that also i'll be i'll be providing the link of the very same in the description box so that's all about today you consider this channel for liking sharing as well as subscribing thank you